Okay, so today I want to take a look at uh, a way that we can save images and take screenshots from a processing sketch, and then we can go on to save that to our PC under any directory that we like. Where uh, usually when you do this, it's going to save the image uh, into your sketch folder by default. But uh, I'm going to look at a method that lets us uh, navigate to a specific directory and then save a file there. So what I have here is a small sketch that is creating these procedurally generated images um, and I can flick through them and when I find one I like I can hit space and it brings up this dialogue here so using this I can navigate around to wherever I want to go and I can choose to save the image uh, wherever I like so the way that this works is using a method that is built into processing called select folder so what this does is when we call select folder it takes two arguments the first one is a string uh, and this text will appear on top of that dialog box. And then the second one uh, also goes in as a string. Uh, and this is a callback. So once we either cancel out of that dialog box or we choose a directory, uh, it will call a method in your processing sketch that is named whatever this string is called here. So as you can see, I have a method here with the same name. Uh, and this method should have one argument of type file, uh, and I've called it selection. So this does is when we call back to this method it passes us back this selection which is the directory that we've chosen so if the selection is null and that means if we have cancelled out of the dialog box without choosing a directory it will simply return and break out of that method but otherwise if we have chosen a directory it will execute this block of code here so what i've done here is i've set up a string called uh, directory2 and I've set that to be equal to the selection dot get path method. So this makes this string equal to the uh, text representation of the directory where we want to save it to. Then on the next line, I've used the save function. So the save function takes a screenshot of your whole processing sketch and you can give it a name and it will save it by default into your sketch folder. But here, since I've set up this string and it's equal to the directory, uh, that we want to save to. I simply uh, affix this string to the beginning of the name I want to give the image. Uh, and doing that tells it to go to that directory and save it there. So the way this works in my main sketch, I'll just check out the uh, master branch. Okay, and reload this. So it works a bit differently in here. So as you can see, uh, an image is going to be created now in a second, and it's going to be displayed in the center of the screen. So this left me with the problem that I no longer wanted to take a full screen grab of the whole processing sketch. I just wanted this, uh, this window here, this small uh, image in the middle of the screen. So how I dealt with this uh, was simple enough. Okay, here we are. So we're back in our folder selected method. So this is the method that is uh, called back after we choose a directory. So in here, this line of code uh, is what does everything. So first thing we do is we set up a P image and we give it a name and we set it to be equal to uh, create image. So this creates a blank P image. Uh, we give it a resolution and we give it a color space. Then after that, we use this P image .load pixels to open up the pixel array of this blank image and then we use load pixels on its own to open up the image array of the, uh, the sketch as it is on screen. Then we use this nested for loop to loop through all of the pixels on screen. And we use this if statement to check whether or not the current pixel is within the range that we've defined. So uh, whether or not this, uh, the pixel that we are looking at at the moment is within that small square in the middle of the screen that we want to save from. And if it is, then we set up an index, which is uh, the reference to the actual pixel we're looking at. And then we say file to save, which is this new blank p image, dot pixels is equal to pixels index. So effectively, we're going through each of the pixels from the center of the screen, and we're assigning them to, or we're assigning the pixels of the blank p image to be uh, exactly the same as those. After that, we're calling p image dot update pixels to update that p image. And then we are doing the same trick here, setting up a string, making it equal to the path, and then we are using pimage.save rather than just save on its own. And we're taking that pimage, and then we're saving it to 
the directory and we're giving it a name. And uh, yeah, that's that's how it works.